Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary. I'm just going to do a quick review of the new Soul de, de Janeiro um, sprays that just came out. So two out of the three um, that I purchased and maybe compare them to the ones that I already own. Um, this is my first video. I know that if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. I just want to do a quick little blurb. Hopefully it turns out that way. And a quick disclaimer, my nails look horrendous. Please do not come for me. Um, if you do, then thank you for watching. Um, so let me get into the fragrances. And let me start with the one that I didn't like. Or I liked the least. I guess it's okay, but um, tan lines. So this is what the bottle looks like. And it it's a really pretty bottle. Um... The notes sounded really great too. So this is a uh, Solar Tuberose and Leda Coco. And let me just read the back real quick. And the top is Le de Coco Warm Sand. The mid is Solar Tuberose Ylang Ylang, and then the dry down is Creamy Vanilla and Amber Essence. So this does not smell gourmand at all. Um, let me spray it so you can see how it sprays. And I really get the tuberose. The tuberose is very prominent. Um, I don't really get vanilla. I don't really get the Leda Cocoa. I do get some amber. And um, I watched a YouTuber talk about this fragrance. And she's really popular. It's the only video I've seen on these new ones. But um, she said that this smelled like Soleil Blanc. And I have to agree 100%. This is a really good dupe, in my opinion, for Solo Blanc. And um, I'm not a fan of that one either, but I, I'm sure most of you have smelled it. So um, if you like that kind of beachy, floral, uh, slightly, I feel like it's very unisex to me, uh, smell, then you're going to, this is a good dupe for that, but I'm just not, that's not my thing. I love gourmands. I love sweet perfumes. So there she goes. Um, the next one, that's the one that I liked the best, but it's probably not my favorite out of the four that I have or five. <laughs> uh, Tropical Nights. Tropical Nights. Uh, so this is the bottle. It's a uh, creamy Tonka bean and vanilla absolute. So let me get into the notes. Uh, so the top is Mandarin Oil, Night Blooming Jasmine, the mid is Vanilla Absolute and Patchouli, and then the dry down is Creamy Tonka Bean and Tobacco Leaf Absolute. So this one surprised me because I thought it was going to be very, very gourmand, kind of like 71 and 62 and 39. They're all really gourmand, as you know, but it is actually very... Um, sophisticated in my opinion and it's perfumey let me uh, spray it mm. so yeah it smells really good but it's a lot less gourmand and it smells more expensive than it is so um I was trying to figure out what it reminded me of and I think it's that tobacco leaf in the dry down. I can, I get a lot of it. And to me, this is very reminiscent of, um, the dry down of velvet Teddy, only smoother, more feminine with more of a floral touch. And then it also reminds me of like a prettier, less patchouli -y alien like, it's like a combo of the two mixed with, like, some vanilla. It's very nice. And I feel like for the price, it's pretty great. Um, the longevity isn't the best. It's, like, four hours, but it's, like, $20 for the bottle. So I think that's not terrible. I did not wear tan lines, but I'm guessing it's probably around the same. Because I think all these sprays kind of last for, you know, not the longest amount of time. But, um... I very much recommend this if you like woody, deeper, perfumey. It's very, it smells like a nice perfume, whereas the other ones smell like a body spray. Or I guess the older line smells more like, you know, like a yummy body spray. So, okay, so let me talk about the other three. And um, 
Chirosa 71 is probably like the most gourmand and this one's caramelized vanilla macadamia uh, vanilla cream wait yeah no vanilla <laughs> it's caramelized vanilla and macadamia uh, I don't know if it has the notes no yeah this one doesn't so this one's very um, it's very gourmand but yeah, it's like, it has like a toasted, like a toasted baked quality to it. Um, and to me, it smells coconutty and almost like buttery, but, um, and almost slightly burnt. Like, I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. And I think maybe it's that macadamia that gives it that butteriness. Um, I like it, but I don't love it. Uh, so let me get into... 39. So I bought this one originally to pair with one of my perfumes. Um, this is supposed to be like, from what I read in Fragrantica, it's supposed to smell like buttered popcorn and maybe it does for like the first minute, but not really. Um, so yeah, the top is coconut cream. The mid is warm vanilla, tropical orchid, and then the dry down is creamy sandalwood and toasted praline and I think this is reformulated so maybe that's why it doesn't smell as much as buttered popcorn as I had originally read but um it pairs well with my perfume that I bought it for so I have um what about pop by house of oud and that one really does smell like buttered popcorn because it's one of the notes they pair well together but um on its own I don't love 39 that much so I think if you like coconut scents if you like mm, things that are like summery and tropical you might love uh Churosa 39 so let me get into my favorite one of the five and this one I'm sure everybody and their mother everybody and their dog has smelled this one and this is a uh, Brazilian crush 62 so this has pistachio and salted caramel. Um, let me see if it has the notes. Oh, okay. So the top is pistachio, almond, the mid is heliotrope, jasmine petals, and then the dry down is vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. So this one is just, it's beautiful. It's delicious. It's very edible. To me, there's like a... Mm. This is very, to me, it's, there's like a cherry note in here, but I know it's the pistachio. Um, it's very wearable. I think it's good for all occasions. Um, it's just, it's a nice everyday scent for me personally. It's just, it's edible, but it's soft and feminine. Um, I definitely, out of the five, if you get one, I think 62, you can't go wrong. Um... So yeah, um, let me just quickly go through each one and also say when I think it's appropriate. For, I mean, you can wear stuff whenever you want, but I feel like this is more like a winter perfume, the 71. It's, um, I feel like more nighttime to me, but you can wear it whenever. This is more like summery, definitely. Um, I think it's like office appropriate. Uh, this one's definitely like more sexy, like nighttime, date night, but you can wear it every day if you want to. There's no police for that. So, and then this one's summery. I'd say it's like, I would wear it like outdoors. Like if you're being active for the day, I feel like it's very much daytime. And then at 62, I feel like you can wear it wherever, whenever it's just beautiful. It's the best out of the five. You can't go wrong with the original. All right, so those are my quick thoughts. I hope it's, like, helpful to somebody. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.